Brooks, we're happy to be here today, hoping to be out in the field, but it looks like the rain run us out of the field, so here we are standing in the shed. Yeah, yeah, the rain came in a little quicker than what I expected, honestly. We did get a decent start, you know, we got the bugs worked out of it, and, yeah. and this is kind of my favorite time of year. You get harvest done and start planning for next year, and my favorite planning is after the soil warrior, you know. So you run your strips in the fall, don't you? Most times, yep, yeah, I run in the fall. Just easier, I got more time, I can cover more acres, and you know, springtime usually, it's all about the planner out here. We got a lot of stuff going on with produce and everything else. When it's dry enough to run, I'm going after that planner. Yeah. So at least with this thing, you know, I can do that. You know, I've got my strips made. My next pass is the planner. It gives so, you that flexibility. I mean, you right. get your strips done in the fall and then like you said, focus on planting in the spring. Right, exactly. You know, we do a lot of cover crop after our watermelons and I could go in in a cover crop, even leave the cover crop, not even kill it. Always have that uniform strip consistent seed bed just all across the field from one end to the other. For those of you that aren't familiar with the Soil Warrior, the machine that we've got here is gonna be a 16 row Soil Warrior. It's on 30 inch spacing. And the whole idea is that this is gonna go out into the field and create a strip that prepares the field where the seed's gonna be planted next year. So then the corn planter is gonna come back, focus right on top of that area where we've done the tillage, and that's where the seed's gonna be. So it gives us that seed bed for the corn, that lush mixed up with all of the fertility that's out there in the field. Any residue that was left is gonna be managed, either pushed out of the way or mixed into that strip. So the soil's gonna be in great shape to be able to give us that even emergence to get the crop up and going next season. You mentioned that about the fields drying out a little bit. Moisture management is one of the things that strip till can help with. Guys that are doing full width tillage sometimes fight that battle of drying out their seed bed too much. A dry seed bed can be good to plant into, but if you've loosened up that soil so much and the entire field is loose and fluffy, you get into those midsummer months, if you don't get that relief rain, you can be seeing drought stress set in a little bit sooner. Yeah, you're exactly right on that. And that's one thing I noticed too in our, in our sandy soils, like I said, especially following watermelons where we have no residue. So here we are trying to get compaction out we throw a cover crop on it but it's still so soft and you know we're, we're not disturbing the soil structure as much with this and we can stay up on top of the ground we're leaving a lot of residue on top to hold that moisture so yeah that's that's a big deal too that we've seen yeah it's a pretty versatile tool so I mean some of our best yields has been following the soil where I mean at the end of the day when you're planting I mean it, the easier you can make planting the better well, you know that as you're pushing the yields up to the the levels that you're going after, every corn plant that you're putting out there has to be contributing. And if it's not, then it's not going to be reaching the levels that you want. And the best way to have each corn plant contributing is to put it into the same consistent environment so that it's coming up evenly and, and everyone's helping out. So yeah, I've actually heard of guys actually planting soybeans with these two. Well, a soil warrior is a very versatile tool. I mean, we've got the dual fertilizer tanks on there that gives guys the flexibility to put down two separate fertilizer products and variable rate those if they want to. But we've also had customers see some really good success by putting fertilizer in one tank and soybeans in the other. It gives them the chance to go out into a field that hasn't been touched yet and in one pass they're doing that soil preparation and then we're delivering that fertilizer and the soybeans in that same airstream, sealing everything up and it gives a guy the efficiency of running at a higher speed. He's going to have a high amount of fertilizer and seed on there so his productivity is really high and instead of wearing out an expensive of corn planter to go out there and put his soybeans in. It's a very efficient way of doing it. Maybe something to look into. Yeah, that's, that'd be neat. I appreciate you coming out. Great meeting you and talking to you. And yeah, hopefully this rain don't last too long so we can get everything finished up for the fall. Well, I appreciate you having me here today. Yep, thank you.